What if I'm self-employed? What is a mortgage? What is your primary? Oh, fixed rate. What is a How much do I need for a down payment? This video is about answering those questions. Welcome to the Rami Magic Show. This segment of Mortgage Science, we're going to talk about whether or not a three-year fixed rate is good for you. A three-year fixed rate, in my mind, is the middle ground between choosing a variable or a fixed. Most Canadians, they decide to use a five-year fixed. Well, it gives them um, the peace of mind that the rate is not going to change for five years. For a variable, it's a little more flexible. It allows you to break your mortgage, refinance with a very low penalty. A five-year fix, your penalty is a lot higher if you break it within five years. With a variable, it's only three months interest. So you're saving a ton of money. The average Canadian decides to refinance their home or sell it in three and a half years. That's a big deal, especially in today's growing market where housing prices are increasing at a very high rate. If you bought your home five years ago, you probably have a lot of equity in your home right now. And if you renewed your home two years ago, you still have a lot of equity in your home and you may want to use that equity without having to pay a very high penalty. That's where the three-year fixed rate could have been an option for you. A three-year fixed rate is only fixed for three years. So if you decide to break your mortgage in three years, you can without having to pay a penalty because you're not breaking your mortgage. You're simply moving from one lender to another after three years. Your mortgage matures in three years. The rates are typically lower as well. They align more with the variable interest rate except they're fixed for three years. You see the variable rate is a direct, has a direct correlation to the Canadian economy and the Canadian economy is currently being impacted by the coronavirus. So if you have faith in the economy to get better in the next two or three years, expect the variable rate to go up in the next two to three years. The five-year fix, that is connected to the five-year Canadian bonds. So if you expect the Canadian bonds to continue creeping up, the five-year fix will continue creeping up. The three-year fix is connected with the Canadian market just like the variable interest rate, except it's fixed for three years. And if you break it, you can break it after three years, which is a very fair proposition. Thank you for watching today's show. If you have any questions or if you're questioning which route to take, ask your broker with the three-year fix. The rate might actually be more appealing than a five-year.